Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Epcot and I'm gonna be dining at a restaurant that I've never dined at before. Recently, I went on a food adventure around Epcot's World Showcase, eating at all the sit-down locations that are open at the moment. And one of the restaurants at Epcot that's not in World Showcase is the Coral Reef Restaurant. So I decided I wanted to come out and do that and just kind of do all the restaurants at Epcot. So, let's go do this. As soon as you walk in the park next to Spaceship Earth is the entrance to Coral Reef. And of course, that is attached to the seas with Nemo and friends. So we're going to be dining in an aquarium and we're going to be surrounded by all types of sea life. And that's really exciting. They have a pretty big menu with a lot of seafood offerings and even some steaks. But also they have some specialty cocktails just for the restaurant itself. So I'm excited to try some of those. And also they have a boozy dessert. When I seen that in the menu, I was like, okay, I think I've been convinced. Of course, after we get done eating, we're going to come over and we're going to ride the seas with Nemo and friends and then hang out in the aquarium and look at all of the cool manatees. I love visiting the manatees here. They're so awesome and just have a great time at Epcot. Dinner reservations have been tricky to score recently because there's not many reservations available. So the best bet is to come for lunchtime if you don't have a reservation and try to get a walk up. And of course, the lesser the parties, the easier it's to get. Obviously, it's just myself dining. So if they have a two top on the side, then I get really lucky. Looks like our table is ready, but I do want to show you something really cool to the left of this wall here. If you're a big fan of Epcot, like old Epcot, you'll remember that this attraction had a different name before Finding Nemo, and it was the Living Seas. And take a look at this over here, the Living Seas Conference Center. How awesome is that? I don't know why, I think that's just so fancy. I love the old Epcot logos. A quick look at the menu, and they've got shrimp cocktail, creamy lobster bisque, grilled vegetable skewer, oven roasted citrus marinated half chicken, oh, shrimp and grits, and then also, I thought I seen a 10 ounce, oh yeah, there it is, a 10 ounce slow roasted grilled ribeye. That sounds pretty delicious. It's time to head on down to our table, but take a look at the waiting area and the walk into the restaurant. It's so beautiful in here. It is so beautiful. It's almost like you're transporting under the sea. And take a look at the dining room. I absolutely love it. I am going to be dining down on the first level there, which it's kind of what you would want to ask for is a window seat or uh, a glass seat. So you're close to all the fishies, but take a look at that. Look at that shark. As soon as we walked in, look at that. Coming right up to the glass. That's awesome. I love it. Wow, take a look at that. Somebody's in the water right now as we speak. That's really cool. Look how you could be sitting right here and literally just have this view. I mean, that is, it's amazing. I don't even know what to say. It's like the coolest thing I've seen. I'm not sitting right next to the aquarium, but I am kind of very close. I'm like literally the next thing over. And I really do like my seat because you get to see more than one area. So you get a brighter range. You can actually see multiple viewing areas and I like it. This is where I'm at. Right here. Very fancy though. This place is amazing. That's really cool. There's a diver in there right now and a shark just like <laughs> swam by. Oh, a, there's a hammerhead shark too. There's a lot of sharks. Wow, that's really awesome. I'm not sure if they're doing this at the moment, but you used to be able to do kind of like a swimming in the seas activity. Taking a quick look at the menu, I decided to go with the abyss. Uh, specialty cocktail. Now this cocktail is just for uh, the uh, Coral Reef restaurant. They also have a Coral Rita. I'll, I'm gonna have to show you the, the uh, menu itself, but it looks so nice. It fits perfectly, well themed. Here is a quick look at the specialty cocktails they have. The Coral Rita and the Abyss. And the Abyss is the one that I decided to go with because it sounded the fanciest, especially because it has Sky Vodka and pineapple juice. So it's probably gonna have like a tropical taste to it. The color is pretty fitting as well. But now we gotta try it. Mm. 
Oh, very delicious. Definitely taste the pineapple juice. Is that a hammerhead? I'm sorry, I keep on getting easily distracted by the fishes and the sharks. And they even have a turtle in there. I seen a turtle swimming around so gracefully and I tried to catch it, but it was gone before I got my camera to actually load up. I decided on getting the 10 ounce ribeye, but I wanted to make it like a surf and turf, so I went with uh, some shrimp on the side. They didn't have any lobster. I was gonna get lobster if it was there, but they didn't have any. So we're gonna have steak and shrimp, and I'm excited because they have loaded mashed potatoes with bacon. So it all just sounds amazing. I'm skipping out on an appetizer because I know I'm going to be getting their signature dessert here, but they do offer a bread service, a potato roll bread service. I like it. I can't wait to try it. I love potato rolls. Very good bread. You know, immediately I always think a restaurant is a little bit better when they have a bread service. I don't know why. I just love bread before dinner. Oh, there's that turtle. He's just swimming around, being the best little turtle he can be. Not too turtly though, he doesn't want to be too turtly for the turtle club. Looks like the food has arrived and it looks delicious. We've got the ribeye, and then we got the shrimp, and the loaded potatoes. This sounds and looks amazing. So I'm excited to dive in. This is more like a prime rib I feel like, and I wish they gave some au jus. Like that would make it perfect. Wow, look how cool that is right there. I love it. This looks so, so good. Now, I don't know if I need a steak knife for this because I think I can just basically cut right through it with a butter knife. Look at that. Pulls right apart. And the mashed potatoes, oh yeah. Perfect. This looks so, so good. Absolutely phenomenal. I love it. The mashed potatoes are some of the best mashed potatoes I've had at Walt Disney World. I mean, the last time I had as good as mashed potatoes as this, and that was at a hometown restaurant up in Pennsylvania. And I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of addicted to the mashed potatoes at this point. The steak is amazing and the shrimp is good, but what really, really sold me now, them potatoes. It also looks like a bunch of other people have joined our friend that was in the tank there earlier. I see one, two, three, three different divers in there. That's amazing. Now I'm super full, but I definitely saved room for dessert because like I said, the dessert is the thing that I looked on the menu and I was like, okay, I gotta try that. And uh, it should be coming out soon. There it is, the Bailey's Almond and Jack Daniels Mousse. It sounds absolutely delicious and it comes with candied almonds and it gives you a warning that says dessert contains alcohol products. Look at it, it's so pretty. I'm excited to dive into this. Bailey's and Jack Daniel Mousse. Perfect combination, I would say. I hate that I have to destroy these beautiful creations, but Oh boy. I got a little bit of everything on one bite. So, so good. And you gotta make sure you get the almonds on there. That's like the most important part. That was just too good. Much too good. <laughs> Look at how those sharks just swim right up to you. I really enjoyed my dining experience in there. I loved staring at all the sea life. It was really fun. I was obsessed with trying to track down that hammerhead shark and also the turtles because I really like the turtles. But the steak was phenomenal. More or less like a prime rib because it's a roasted uh, ribeye and uh, absolutely loved it. Mashed potatoes were by far my favorite thing there because I don't know, they just had a, a unique taste to them and uh, I'll never forget them again. And then of course the dessert was fabulous so so good but now we're gonna go explore around epcot a little bit more and even ride the seas nemo swimming out to sea mine oh this can get you from this distance you can actually get sprayed 
It also looks like the seas is only a 10 minute wait. Let's go explore the big blue world. We're gonna hop in our shell. We are shell number 44. In the big blue world. I'm not sure we'll see him any minute now. <laughs> oh, science is great, there's so much to know. Find the board explorers, it's time to go. Oh, don't worry. I didn't see you trying to speed up as well. Good. Sure, you go. That was such a fun, relaxing ride, especially after having a nice big meal. It's really good to take a ride and just digest and cool off. And now we are in the seas. And I'll give you a look around and show you the directory, but I want to check on the manatees. As you can see, it is two levels. On the upper level, they have sea turtles, sharks, rays, and dolphins. But down here on the lower level, they got the manatees, the gentle sea cows. Oh look, look at, there they go. <laughs> they are so awesome. Majestic, I say. Oh, he's turning over on his belly. He's coming in, he's doing a barrel roll. <laughs> Hi. He waved to me. I'm sure it was just a coincidence, but I said hi and he waved his little flipper flopper at me. Very cool. Here is another nifty little living sea sign. The Silver Engineering Achievement of Merit from 1987. That's very nifty. Now we're gonna head back out in the future world though. In a big blue world. Song really gets stuck in your head, but I like it. And look, we're coming up on Winnie the Pooh catching some butterflies. And there's actually butterflies flying around here. You can, you can actually see him. He really is catching butterflies. Oh, hi, Pooh. Coming out and look at Winnie the Pooh is catching butterflies out here. And there are butterflies everywhere, actually. It is a very hot day out today, but every time I come to Epcot, I always like to wear my Epcot Spirit jersey. I feel like I need to get like a lighter Epcot Spirit jersey because it gets super, super hot. I roll up my sleeves and then they get all stretched out. I just love it though. I'm gonna meet up with some friends that we're gonna hang out at World Showcase, probably visit some booths, get something to drink, maybe some snacks a little bit later on. It's just a beautiful weekend to be here. Like I said, we're gonna be joining up with some friends and I'm gonna get something to drink. And actually, I wanna point out a really good spot that you can get some amazing cocktails and draft beers. And it's right here at Regal Eagle Smokehouse. Not in the restaurant, but the uh, quick service like uh, bar stand on the outside. Amazing things. Lots of cool specialty cocktails, a frozen mint julep, a Tennessee lemonade, and some good beers. I got the Bell's Oberon American Wheat Ale. This is gonna be pretty fancy. And I ran into my friends, Villains and Vice. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I think the music is starting to come on at the American Gardens Amphitheater. Maybe it's epic. Oh, I think it is epic, wow. We got a live show tonight, folks.
epic was actually really epic and if you plan on watching that show you have to get there super early they had 7 30 and 8 30 show times and we tried to sneak over there about 7 10 and uh it was all booked up you couldn't even get in there so we were watching it from the outside still just as good though i absolutely loved it <laughs> Since we are here in the Japan Pavilion, I think I'll stop into the garden house, maybe get myself a super dry or a Tokyo sunset or a violet lemonade or violet sake. You know how violet they can get. Three different mixed drinks here, the sparkling dragon, Tokyo sunset, and like I said before, the violet sake. But I'm going with the super dry. <laughs> super dry. <laughs> I don't know why I absolutely love this super dry beer, but it is very delicious. And uh, now we get to hang out in Japan a little bit. Sun's going down, so it's gonna get a little bit dark in a little bit. <laughs> now we're gonna move along, and like I said, look how dark it got. And I think it's extra dark out right now. I'm not too sure why. I'm thinking I'm used to seeing the lights for the harmonious barges out here, but they're not on at the moment. So I'm used to just being able to see kind of like a bright light out there, but nothing. I ran into some friends on my journeys along and it's Paul Hernandez and he's actually a, bar a Broadway singer? Oh yeah. Yeah, and you're gonna sing something, right? Oh yeah, I'm ready. for PMM. Oh, I yeah, love it. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, give me your best, let's hear it. I have often dreamed of a far off place where a great warm welcome will be waiting for me and the crowds will cheer when they see my face and the voice keeps singing this is where i am meant to be i am on my way i can go the distance i don't care how far if i can be strong i know every mile will be worth my while i would go most anywhere to feel like i belong wow that was amazing man thank you absolutely Thanks. wow i feel so honored thank you for that amazing oh how amazing was that? I absolutely love it. And anyone that comes up in the parks and, you know, they uh, see me, I'm always honored to just talk and chit chat. And when he told me he was a Broadway singer and he wanted to sing to me, I was like, do you want me to put it on the video? Because I thought that was so courageous of him. And you know what? He has such an amazing voice. Go the Distance is one of my favorite songs. And he sang that. I feel like so happy right now. He really made my night tonight. He was absolutely amazing. Now I'm gonna head on into the Mexico Pavilion and do a little Grand Fiesta tour. It has been a long time since I've been able to walk into the Mexico Pavilion without a wait either. This is, uh, this is like my lucky day here. After we ride the three Cabaneros, I think we're gonna come out and uh, get a drink at the uh, La Cava, the new drink that they have actually. It looked really fancy, so I'm definitely excited for it. No wait to get into the pavilion and no wait to ride the ride. This is like a little shocking. Oh, here we go. Inside the boat. And if you have children with you, please watch. Guess.
I'm going to show you guys the coolest hidden Mickey I've ever seen. Look, Mickey's in one of these windows. Look, right there. He's actually just standing there. Seriously, I love the Grand Fiesta tour, but now it's time to get that little special drink over at La Cava, and I'm very excited for this because it is like a performance almost. It's very fancy. Now we're gonna have to try this magical drink. Isn't that so cool how they made it? Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, that's good. That is good. I have to say it is a little bit pricey, but I think it's totally worth it. I mean, we were talking about how I don't even know if they put a mixer in there. Like I said, there was four liquors. One of them's Gavi Gin, and then like I said, the passion fruit liqueur, the Blanco, and a Mezcal. And uh, plus you get a nice little glow cube, a free cup, and a show. So definitely worth it, but it can creep up on you. So be careful. Now we need to be moving along though. It's okay because our uh, glow cubes will light the way. Is it raining? Oh no! It really is lighting the way though. <laughs> it is really, really raining, raining and storming. Lots of lightning in the air. Look at all this lightning. Holy moly. I did not make it and now it is pouring. So. We're gonna make a, a very awkward exit out of the park. I mean, I mean, we're covered. I mean, it, this is a downpour. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I enjoyed making it. By the time I leave the park, my glass will be filled again. So, we'll see you next time. Bye! Oh boy, we're gonna have to make a run for it here, but I have seek some shelter underneath Spaceship Earth. I don't know how long it's gonna last for though. I might as well just go. Look at how beautiful that is though.